Power Pain Das Mash is now live. Streaming new tales from the Borderlands, new tales from the Borderlands PS5 hyphen part 3. Select your ball lander. Did we just, we just did that, right? That was, so we're like vault hunters now. We are a triple digit body count short of being actual vault hunters, but it certainly seemed that we just managed to defeat a space god. Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we could probably sell that green thingy for a mint. I think this crystal is the vault's treasure. 
How's that? I don't know. Just... When I touched it, I... Saw something. It felt... Something? Like... Something good, something? Or drives you insane and you kill us, something? Not sure. Love that. I, I just... Got this feeling of... Power mixed with... Pain and... Desire... Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get rich and famous! Kick Susan Coldwell's ass! Oh, right. Tidior, uh, they'll be looking for this. For us! Sure. But that means we get all the leverage. Good. Saves me the trouble of looking for them. Fran, they have an army. And I have a temper to keep in check. Meaning? Meaning when I kill Susan Coldwell, I'll do it awful politely. Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Voltlander warrior would never break a bond forts in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god! I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. What were we talking about again? Ah, the ding-dongs with the weird crystal. You see, when opportunity knocks, it's always tempting to open the door. But one must be careful of what awaits on the other side. And what walks through afterward. The doctor, the bruiser, and a man about town had secured themselves a mysterious treasure. And with it, the attention of many dangerous people. Namely, Susan Coldwell, chairwoman of the Tidior Corporation. But those were worries for the future. For now, they had to rest, regroup, and figure out exactly what they'd gotten their hands on. What's with the long face? We just killed a vault monster. Oh! Did he drop a fully furnished Frogert shop? Or a gun with bullets that seek out Susan Coldwell's brain stem? No? That's why I'm upset! Are we at any point going to talk about how you also murdered a bunch of Tidior guards? <laughs> Forgot about that. Silver linings. You are back. Based on your heart rates and serotonin levels, I've concluded that team morale is lukewarm. Not bad, not great. Plus one half skateboard. Which half? The bad half. Ah! Oh. Friend, next time you'll be the bait. No, I won't. No, you won't. You appear to be injured, Octavio. How? Oh, you know, you fight an all-powerful vault monster, you're gonna have to deal with a few boo-boos. Your word choice implies a possible concussion. No, that's just him. What happened to you all exactly? Tell me the story of how you did not immediately die. We nearly got killed. It was like 80% luck and 10% teamwork that we got out of there at all. An honest response that does not make you seem at all cool. But you respect me for telling the truth, right? Absolutely not. Lie next time. I respect it. You don't count. You don't count. Vault monsters typically drop treasure. Where is your treasure? I, uh... 
I'm keeping it safe. What are you doing? Wait. Nothing happened to you when you touched it? No, like, visions? No. What? Never mind. This is an unknown, potentially volatile substance, and you're just tossing it around? Listen here, Miss A. Yeah, Anu, calm. Do not tell me to calm down. Call me interested in talking more about this. What I meant to say was, uh... Just, you know, don't be a dick and we should be able to get through this fine. A dick? Wow. I... All right. Look, not to be a dick about it, but this thing is a lot safer in my hands than in yours. Not... not in an I'm smarter than you way, just in a... a I've trained for this my whole life, and you haven't way. Like, if, if I needed help killing someone or stealing from them, I defer to your judgment, you know? Good thing you said not to be a dick about it. I, I just... No. I get it. We're just a couple of mouth-breathing dirt humpers. What's the big deal? It's just a rock. Oh, my God! What are you doing? Beating your ass to keep away, as per usual. Just be careful. We don't know what exposure to it or touching will do. If this thing was dangerous, the vault monster would have used it as a weapon. But it didn't. So we've got nothing to worry about. Ow, oh, my ankle! Oh, yeah. That's broken. Oh, for... I told you to stop! Ah! 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 That feels nice. <laughs> huh. That's weird. I guess I'm made of stronger stuff than I thought. No. No, you aren't. It's the shard. It... It, it healed you just like it healed that creature. So, what does that mean for us? We're gonna be rich! I have to run a lot more tests. We have a magic rock that heals people. We went down into that vault looking for a way to get rich, and this is it! Now you have to calm down. We can't get excited about all this until we fully understand the variables. This little experiment might not even be repeatable. We can't be sure it'll heal every wound every time. Sure we can. Hawk, what are you doing? Being the man. What? Don't be stupid. No! No! I'm not the man. I'm not the man. That's for sure. <laughs> I also concur. And heal. And heal! This is why I said we needed to run more tests. When will you ever learn to be more careful? It's working. It's working! <laughs> I've learned nothing! Oh, man! The pain went away completely. I got full mobility. Hot damn! Okay, that's great, but now, shoot me. What? Don't! I cannot stress enough how moronic this is. <gasps> Metal! This room! Do me again. Do not. Do not, do not, do not, do not. Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> oh no, you've got to try this thing. I don't. Uh, come on! It's all kind of <laughs> exhilarating. I'd really prefer not to. Hey, how are you going to test this thing if you haven't been on the other side of it? Just shoot somebody! It's just all the shouting makes me nervous, and I probably shouldn't have a gun if I'm nervous. Come on, stop being such a stick in the mud and live a little! I... Okay! You're right! This is a serious bastardization of the scientific process, but we're learning, right? Don't be such a stick in the mud, Anu. I guess, for the sake of science. It's okay, we're okay. Hey, you should be feeling better now. Look, we have euphoria coming your way. Oh no, oh, oh, come on, sis. It felt really weird. I'm sorry, I thought it would... You told me to shoot somebody! I did, I did, that's my bad. Shouldn't have, should have known you would fall on that sword. Bullet, I'm sorry, but hey, this is good data, right? We know, we know not everyone has a, a good reaction to the healing. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, this is good data. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm okay. I guess I'm okay. Okay, great. Because I sort of have an idea. So we have a weird healing rock, which is great. Everyone loves healing. But what's the one thing everyone loves more than healing? Gun, guns, guns. Wait, 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 but not a gun. Not the hurdy bang bang kind. This would be a long range healing gun, right? It just shoots, you know, beautiful rock slivers instead of bullets. A long range. What's that face? Is that a good face, bad face? A long range glow. Uh-uh. We can't risk damaging the actual shard without knowing where or if there's a source to replenish it from. I am definitely not yanking more of these out of some ancient angry monster. Oh, yeah. No. But we don't need to. If this... this element, whatever this is, functions anything like Iridium does, which it seems to in terms of energy expenditure, uh, then I can harness that energy and consolidate it into a beam of light. A, a healing ray. What? Really? Yes. I had a good idea. Because it feels like I actually maybe did. We brainstormed it together. A sibling mind meld. Oh. Okay. I love sharing credit. Ah, it's completely fried. All right. If we're going to get anywhere with this idea... My idea? I'm going to need to fix my... Our... Device. Your gun is broken? My device needs some minor repairs. I I'm going to see if there's anything useful in this froyo garbage. <gasps> Your froyo garbage. You'll do nicely as a transparent containment unit. I think. You know what they say. Reduce, reuse, reimagine how to recreate your invention using found materials from a bombed out Froga shop.
Is there a reason why there's a camera hidden inside your jukebox machine? Yeah! It's for my only friends. Only friends? Yeah, you know, it's a subscription service for my loyal customers so they can keep an eye on the shop. Sort of like crowdsourcing a security team to keep an eye on the place. But don't tell my fanatics that. <laughs> And I obliged. Refrigerators are full of usable material. <gasps> and me. I know what you're thinking. I thought I abandoned you in shame in a sewer. And you're right. But I do not capitulate so easily. No, no. I craved a rematch so I might reclaim my honor. Of course. So, I did what any person of right mind would do, and I followed your trail here. Oh, well, not here. Here. This is my forward operating base as I plot my redemption. You're living in our fridge? It is for air conditioning. So, uh, who's pathetic now? Still me. Enough pity. I challenge you to Vaultlanders. Game of Kings, the true battle of brains. I don't even know how to play. You'll pick it up. It's really quite simple. Now, battle! Select your Vaultlander. Fall. Fall versus Vasquez. Are you truly a novice? 
Were you hustling me? I'm sure I've never played before, but I understand the appeal. Do you want to live with me in this fridge? What? No. <laughs> but thank you for the game. This was fun. Fun? How dare you besmirch Boltlanders by calling it fun? Tis a duel of strategy, bravado, and guile. You are unworthy of your natural skill. Be gone. Open or closed? Closed. So weird. There are any working fuses in here, I can use one to help regulate current. Pressure-sensitive tape. A true testament to the power of science and engineering. Presuming Fran doesn't have a welding machine, this ought to do the job. Ooh! Scrap metal! Perfect! That scrap you're talking about is my Froyo machine. And... Did it always look like this? Listen here, Judgy. She may have needed some encouragement from time to time, but she never let me down. Based on my analysis, this machine is, well, how to put it? Demolished, broken beyond repair, unusable, out of commission. You touch my machine, and it's you who will be out of commission. Capiche? Yes, got it. Capiche you loud and clear. Well, it's nice to see you be the best at something that isn't illegal, little brother. Best employee. He was the only employee. Oh. Huh. Nothing useful here. Hey! I meant... Never mind. Is there a map hidden on the... Nope. Alrighty, then. <laughs> Is touching live fuses part of your scientific genius? Oh, oh! Should I have been touching live fuses this whole time? No! Octavio, live fuses are still bad. I just assumed with all the destruction, the fuses were dead. I'll use my tech goggles to check them now. Thanks.
One good fuse is all I need. Uh, so long as I don't screw up the assembly process, that is. was offline and the shop as well <laughs> so I thought maybe I could use the lens in the device Ta -da! now for the finishing touch <sighs> it didn't uh, but it should have I, I, I don't should it do something? It's not calibrating to this new element. I'll make a few adjustments. That's all. <clears throat> oh! didn't detonate in my face. Beautiful! Now, to ensure this healing ray actually uh, heals, which would require an injury to uh, heal. So we get to shoot ourselves again? We need to test the device. By shooting ourselves again? For the good of science. It needs to be me. It's my device and it's... To be honest, I didn't exactly have it working perfectly before. I won't risk it on either of you. But... Ew. Anu. Ow. Ish. You were just taking turns shooting at each other like it was a pillow fight. Yeah, that was nuts, but like, awesome. This, however, is just... Unsettling. All right. Fine. Now... Someone has to do the honors. Can I just say, it would be a real honor to shoot you, Anu. I'm game. Oh, uh, sure, Fran. Just, you know, point and shoot. Sort of like a portable Frogut dispenser. Oh, is that how a gun works? Sorry, device. Uh, it Got it. Hmm. Big overture little show, huh? Oh, sh Whoa. <laughs> oh, thank God. I wasn't really sure, but it worked. I don't have any extra limbs or... It worked? Good to know you're really confident in your own abilities. Who cares about confidence when you have an actual working miracle ray? Do you guys realize what we have here? Women. Do you women realize what we have here? Just say y'all. Do y'all realize... That this could change everything? That it will be as easy to save a life as take it? That injuries, sickness, they can all be solved with the pull of a trigger? That just maybe this universe will finally give life the respect it deserves? I can't believe it. I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can! Yes! All that stuff! For sure! You're just thinking about the money, aren't you? No! I totally respect life! So much! Oh yes, speaking of which, thank you for helping me kill Hubert Hotdog. I have forwarded your percentage of the bounty. <laughs> All right. So, we make a bunch of Healy guns, but to do that, we need money. First, device. Second, we only have this one shard. Third, we don't yet have a complete understanding of what this shard is capable of or how it works. Let's not start talking about mass production quite yet. 
Counterpoint? What better way to test the Shard than to make a whole bunch of Healy guns? We're not calling them that. And test them. This is like basic business development. Didn't they teach you that at Space College? Spallage. Spallage. Spallage? I'm not comfortable making more than one of these Healy gun These devices until I've worked out all the kinks. And spallage is absolutely not a thing. Anu, come on. This is classic you. Working on something for way too long, not wanting to show it off. But let me tell you something. There is no such thing as perfect. Down here, you gotta get messy and move fast. But at Atlas, they fired you. I... Oh, 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 okay. Say you're right. Where would we get this kind of startup money? I mean, pretending I'd go along with this whole thing. Just hypothetically. Investments! Okay. Go on. Uh, uh, no, that's all I had. Less stupid idea. We could go on sink or swim. Oh! What? It's this new Promethean Echo cast where you pitch an invention to an investor. If he likes it, he basically throws endless money at you. What if he doesn't like it? I do not know. Never actually watched it, friend. It comes on during the evening Frogurt Rush, so I haven't seen it either. Well, it's Promethean, so probably something bad. Guaranteed something very bad. Probably something bad, yes. But hey, if anyone else has a smarter plan, I'm all ears. <sighs> all right. Sink or swim it is. But if we win... When we win? We have to invest some of that money into research. Deal? Deal. Oh, deal. All right. Let's get ready for a pitch that will change the universe. Hi. Hello. How are you? So, so. Well, I'm glad to hear that. If I may take a moment of your time, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about something so new, so revolutionary, so exciting, I'm listening. that it will completely change your life. If you respect high quality, if you expect only the best, Sounds just like me. I proudly present to you the perfect product. Have fun with it. We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Don't oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. <sighs> Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamos. Move your tush. But I want the money! The money! Listen, kid. You're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. Whoa! What the hell, you? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. 
My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous, I feel... I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. I guess it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here, in Marvin Baxter's stead, if only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. Okay, be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers! <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces! This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Pierre Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to, like, waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on. Hit me with it. You. Nervous girl. I'm your dry run. Let me see it, at least. Come on. Hit me with it. Give me your pitch or I'll kill you. Ha! Just joshing. Or am I? Ha! Um, you can see it, but that's it. Otherwise, you'll learn about our project along with the judges. Oh, wow, so you don't actually have a pitch. That's, ooh, that's embarrassing. What? Oh, nothing, it's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition, and, uh, update, I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh! You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. Maybe I should have punched him in the face too, just to make sure he got the message. That's our competition. I trust that guy about as far as I can throw him. He is very throwable. Relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending joke was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science. And I definitely don't smell confident. Ugh, yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that Octavio swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people and I'm... Oh, God! When people ask about you, they just want to hear about themselves. So get very personal. Dig deep into their childhoods, crushes, whatever. I don't think a game show host wants me to ask about his childhood. Oh, he does. Because no one else has. Somewhere there's that little host that wants to be heard. Find him. Listen to him. 
see him. Then take his prize money and bolt. <laughs> Pitch and public speaking aside. All that stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh, uh, but does it need more style? Is our device just, just quit? How do I give it, you know, pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person. I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> Get creative. You gotta soup that thing up, and you gotta soup it up now. With what? With how? You were able to build it in a burnt-out furrier place from a pile of scraps, Anu! Where did that go-getter genius get off to? I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now, I'm sweating more! Octavio, what do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. All right, Palantine, you're about to get Octavioed. All the usual fare, I see. <gasps> oh gosh, <laughs> how clumsy of me, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Pa! Watch and learn, kid. Pierre, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed. Me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. That ought to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. How do you live in such a meaty temple? <laughs> Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying... I am about to lose control of myself. And I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. <sighs> Pardonnez-moi. I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. It's all gonna be okay. Fran and I took care of it because we're supportive colleagues working towards shared success. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim, yada, yada, yada. We're on in five, I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palantine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradadar, and this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh, okay. You, you're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. 
I'm impossible. Not about winning, though. Ooh -hoo -hoo. A contestant with bravado. Let's just hope his invention is as impressive as his ego. Finnegan, that's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. Guy like that will do anything for ratings. He's got an eye for the pageantry of it all. Is that good? It means we'll have to meet him on his level. Go for spectacle. Don't focus on the nerdy stuff. But the nerdy stuff is my stuff. Oh, don't worry, honey. When in doubt, just... <coughs> do something violent. <gasps> all right, Pierre. Let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not it's not activating. <gasps> I've been sabotaged. Sabotage! That's Horrible! Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably very good looking. Also very cool. <laughs> okay, you know what? I did sabotage this product. Octavio! Oh, and I'd do it again too! One thousand times! You know why? Because I did it for you. That's sweet, Oc. Ethically very wrong, but sweet. Yeah, I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show. Unfortunately, your pitch, it's a ball. No, I swear it does more, so much more. Somebody said tampered with the algorithm. I've been cheated, swindled, <laughs> hard swoggled. And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float... Please, no! no! <gasps> oh! What? Oh, no! Oh, no! What? Whoa. The little futz turned out to be a big futz. You messed with his device. You... You killed him! He woke up alive, crossed paths with you, and now he's dead! It was him or us, and I chose us. I regret nothing. Totally deserved it, no regrets. <laughs> I'm about to pitch a healing device in front of the world. How? Can I sell this product while you two are causing literal harm to others? Either of you ever heard of a thing called karma? What is that? A Froya flavor? <laughs> yeah, I love karma. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. I knew he was a showman. Oh, I hate it when I'm right. Oh, my God. If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anurata Dar, you're up next. Just me? Just you. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dunked. Apparently, we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavia! You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here. Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! Please welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anurada Dar! Who wrote that introduction? Today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? life story, especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. Start with your pitch. So you were saying something about love and violence? That's not exactly what I. Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Get personal. Speaking of backstory, how's your terminally ill mom doing? Pardon? I saw an article about her in the green room. <laughs> I hope she's comfortable. She is. Good. Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present... The Hippocratic Matic. Right. Because hippos do no harm. Sure. All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quaint, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another arm. I appealed to the company's heart, hoping compassion would win the day. But it did not. No, it did not. But now, with experience, 
and friends behind me? I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake at least. It's science and magic. <laughs> Technically, it's magic. Well, she sounds confident, but that doesn't make any sense. Science, magic. Smagic. Don't worry about it. You seem nervous. And really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. Uh, finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button, this laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, Thanks. I've been lifting. <sighs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I 
I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this. Shh, shh. Hush your nerve mouth. You didn't ask for any of this. It should have been me. It should have been me! Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm gonna do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something else. Anu! Anu! Wake up! Stay with us! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's no use! She said something else! Something... else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right! We can use the device! We don't even know if it can reattach limbs! Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out! It's working! Oh, thank you, magical healing gun! Device. Hot oh, diggity, you scared me half to death! Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth-to-mouth? -mouth? I am the vessel torn asunder, harmonic vibration seeking resonance! So that's a no, then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir. I might have an offer for you, if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh yeah, sure, let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and NBs. We have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel in Who is it? Who? Who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars. Someone else's money to fund their business. That's right! Booyah! Fantastic! What a roller coaster! That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sing or Win! Now that we're ahead, Here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I'd eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. <laughs> Holy crap! We did it! We didn't sink! We did not sink! We swam! I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoke in tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly. Classic blood loss. I'm not so sure. I it felt... Who cares? We got our money. Cash paper. My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss you. Uh... I could. But I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. When you fell in that tank, I thought you were dead. Me too. I totally panicked. I, and not just because, you know, you were going to die, but I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Never thought I'd get this uh, vulnerable. <laughs> it feels off-brand. Oh, I wouldn't be able to go on without you either. Yeah, that's because you'd be dead. Right, but I... Like, incredibly dead. Okay. Way too dead to hang. Hey, let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? 
Whoa. Have you met me? All I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg. It saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran. Thanks again for fighting those sharks. No problem. I eat raging sharks for breakfast. Ah! Cool, cool. Quick refocus here, ladies. Women! People. Oh! You got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how dee, if it ain't my intrepid inventors what I invested in. Oh, it's the angel investor! Well, shucks now, ain't nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and... What are your terms? There's gotta be a catch. Fran, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Math, we accept. We accept. Thanks, bye. Go! Oh, what gives? This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever. I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan. Nothing's gonna stand in our way. <gasps> We've discussed this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. Of course we did. You should have seen it, Lou. I hacked this Jack Hat's ball thing. Which got him killed. <laughs> ball thing. And we gave the audience a live demonstration that will live on in infamy. It was so epic, some anonymous Brazilianaire called into the show and funded our company. We're super rich now! He is embellishing again, isn't he? Actually, no. That's more or less what happened. I am relieved that you are not dead. And that you are no longer poor. We just pulled out a miracle! And we did it with style! That's gotta be worth some skateboards. You are not wrong, Francine. And... Judging by your expressions and the overall, quote, vibe, unquote, I measure your team morale score in skateboards as, eh. You have indeed secured funding, but there is room for improvement. What's wrong, pal? I, I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals and as a team fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> Fran, despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Um, hello. I hate killing, but I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our own programming. The trick is to make sure you don't let it control you. You have considered letting it control you five times in the last 24 hours. Shut up. Six. But I cannot contravene my programming. Does that mean I am weak? I don't know. Life's weird. Weird is insufficient. I require objective clarity. Am I evil, Francine? Your hesitation alarms me. Or perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, maybe there is hope for me. Louis? You're what we'd call a solid seven. Nothing to get excited about, but good enough to settle down with. But I don't want to be a seven. I want to be a ten. Now, you're a six. I feel I now have more questions than when we began this conversation. Yeah, life's like that.
Nonetheless, having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people, or robots, whoever. If I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs, it... Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. It was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> we just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. We just want sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less... busted. We can salvage this. We use the investor's money and rebuild right here. Rebuilding would take time, Fran. Promethea needs this technology now. Who pissed in your shark tank? Fran, we gotta face the facts. Look around you. This place has been bombed twice. There's nothing left. Incorrect. Structurally, there is 30% of Franz Froggitz left. Utilizing reclaimed rebar and approximately a metric ton of co Why are you making that throat-cutting motion? <sighs> Franz Froggitz isn't dead dead, Fran. It'll live forever in our hearts. Sure, it can live on in your hearts, but legally and financially, Franz Froggitz is unequivocally dead. I hope this clarity was helpful. Listen, we got a different dream now. All of us together. And that dream starts with a location. Location is everything in business. Companies live and die by their real estate. Octavio's not wrong. Look at why Atlas moved their locale to space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a vital decision that will determine our level of success or failure. It's a mission of such importance that I can only entrust it to myself. It's a burden I'm honored to take for the betterment of us all. I'm gonna take your silence here as support for my impeccable taste and trustworthiness. Well, if you're in charge of finding the new HQ, what am I gonna do? Oh, I have the perfect job for you. What does every startup company need? The thing that defines company culture. Frogurt machines in the break room. Ah? Ah? No. Sure. Maybe, but also staff. You, me, Anu, and Louis, we're the think tank. We need staff to, you know, execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me, after all. I suppose I could head down to Lore's and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for talent. Exactly. Great. It's settled. I'll go get an HQ. Fran and Louie will go hire us some staff. And Anu, you'll get production supplies. Acquire testing material. Right. Same thing. Like, think. Look at us! Working together separately to get this business off the ground. Indeed. This deserves a skateboard. How good are you, skateboard? Just think. When we meet back up, this business will be operational! Dirty 30, here we come. Just call us when you found a new location, Ock. And make sure it has cold storage for my supplies. See you soon, friend. Well, I guess... This is it, then. Just Fran and L0U13. You didn't go with Octavio. An astute observation. Awesome. Love that for me. Can you give me a minute to say goodbye to the old place? I can. 60 seconds, starting now.
I love this place more than anything. Franz Frogerts was my first love. But I have more to love now. Franz Frogerts are frozen. The Frogerts are frozen. The frozen is freaking Frogerts around. Well, come on, bot. I know somebody who can help us staff up. <laughs> Yeehaw! study the shard with. It's all above board. <laughs> this isn't creepy. 